What advice would you like to have had when you start playing basketball? Ooh, this is a good one. We, I think we both need to think about it. Maybe you know the answer already? What's the best advice you could give to young basketball players like you? Uh, especially when you are young, don't put all the eggs into the same basket. Keep your edu education, like try to, to learn, try to study, because like overall, like no matter how good you will be, one injury can change everything overnight. So I think uh, have a plan B just in case all the time. I think that's also very important. I would say my favorite player in the WNBA right now, um, I think Asia Wilson had a really amazing season. Um, she didn't quite get the, w, or the uh, MVP award, but I think she had a really great season and also Alyssa Thomas had a really amazing season as well. I'm really supportive of Lithuanian, so I will say Jonas Valanciunas <laughs> from Pelicans. Uh, I really don't have like a star player that I really love. So I'm always supportive of my local guys. My whole life I lived in places like Lithuania, Germany, where it's like raining, snowing, it's cold. And here it's like really nice weather. So I love that, I enjoy that. And like she said as well, I love exploring. So all the beach towns, like some mountain, uh, small mountain towns. How do you handle pressure at your crucial game moments? Yeah, I think that a lot of it comes just from experience. You know, I remember when I was younger, maybe um, those moments would scare me a little bit more, but I think the more that you do them and the, the better attitude and approach you have to them, um, I mean, that's part of the reason why you play, play sports, right? Are those moments of, of um, either success or failure, truthfully, you know? And so, um, yeah, I think the older I've gotten, the more I can appreciate those moments because that's, you know, the fun part about playing the sport. Let's say I wasn't even expected, nobody expected me to become a professional player. Uh, until the age of 16 or 17, I wasn't even playing for junior teams because I was 8th, ninth, 10th man in the roster and nobody cared about me. But somehow, step by step, uh, I got better and better and better and I always kept learning uh, and I became a professional player. And 